Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Man 4, Counter Krieg as Germany. Let us continue on from the last left off. We have won the war in China. Ukraine has gotten some territory back from the Russians, and we are lining American Union states further towards our interest. Everything, and look at and other than that, we have 80 points. Our influence is absolutely crazy right now. Now, also war broke out in Morocco. That was also a thing that happened. So we are sending some volunteers here. We're sending uh, this dude who is a veteran of the, uh, he's actually going to be awarded two medals. 30, oh, they're so expensive. Where's the capital? Marrakesh? Let's move our troops down south. Can I send you air volunteers? Yes. Also, Belgium, Finland, the Dutch, the Polish, the Lithuanians, Ukrainians, Dominican, and Middle Africa, they've all sent volunteers. Middle Africa sent paratroopers. I don't know what the fuck their plan there was, but you know what? I appreciate the spirit. Aside from that, let's get one close air wing. Send them to Morocco. And have you got your volunteers from the uh, from the Accord? Yes. From uh, Argentina, not Argentina, from Australia, Canada, Britain, the West Indies, Greece, Spain, South Africa, Portugal, France, New England, Italy. Like, okay, it's going to be like an actual bloodbath. Like, the, the Moroccans are actually taking a back seat in this. Because it's really all of our forces actively fighting against each other. Let's do some sounding rockets. Do not Google sounding. And we'll get our division down here. If we can push to Marrakesh fast enough. Because I'm trying to think. If the, um, if the Accord troops are deploying here... Then it might take a while to actually get to Marrakesh. And by that time, we might be able to still win the war. If we're lucky. And now, I don't believe the uh, Accord has a... Actually, they might deploy up here. I don't believe the Accord has any airports. So that'll give us air superiority, at least for a little bit. Orderly growth is still looking good. They're now pushing away to Infi. Infi has fallen to the, uh, to the Accord. But we're going to take Marrakesh. Immediately. We love to see it. And look, they, they, oh, they were trying to get to Marrakesh. They had like one day to try it, and they failed to do so. Oh, wait. Hey, I fixed it. <laughs> I don't even know what I did. So we've got the Medical Confederation down to 70% by taking Marrakesh. All of our allies are now moving their way up to the north. Now, again, Spain does have some coastal cities. I don't believe Spain's going to join the war directly. Do I need any of this stuff? You know what? Actually, we have... We actually have intelligence against the Canadians and the French. If we, end, if we end up fighting those troops directly, we might be able to actually get some stuff done. Okay, hold position. The thing is, I don't want to do it, like, right now. I feel like we can buy a little bit of time. Oh, never mind. We just win immediately. The conflict in Morocco has come to an end. As the Kingdom have announced their triumph over the revolutionary forces, which has sought to end the rule of the monarchy. Royalist forces were supported, uh, reported to have been uh, fissioning off the last revolutionary cells and secured across the uh, nation. So I'm guessing because we took their capital, we won. I am so, I am so good at being the Kaiser. The Accord thought. They really thought that they had something there. I'm glad I did not spend my uh, intelligence because I wouldn't have done anything for us. Alaska has been returned to the Pacific States of America. If I was Canada, I would have rigged the vote, but you know what? Not much you can do about that. When we play Canada, by God, you can you can believe that we will rig that vote immediately. 7,000 rifles from Middle Africa will not uh, will not say no to that one. But how are we doing on trucks? We're still at negative 3,000. But we're getting the trucks that we need for our logistics, which is nice. Allow us to fuel our uh, units and not have them just all die immediately. Okay, so next up, again, we want to adhere to conservatism, and I want to invite Danubia. The uh, invitation will require ratification by the Nubian Regional Diet. This may take some time. Well, I will send out the invitation. I don't know how long it may take, but we will try our best. By the way, can I give you, like, another medal? This guy is so good. Go back to Crimea. <laughs> We also need to make sure we have another offensive plan ready to go towards Petrograd. This army, we're going to have you basically on a spearhead towards uh, Moscow. And then you guys. I do like how they rename Zarzin. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, delete. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. We want you to push away towards Rostov, and then from there, push away up to uh, Denikist. So that'll be your plan there. And I, I mean, I, I feel pretty confident with it. Russia right now, 79 to 162 divisions. So it'd be about, we're about one to one with Russia, but I'm assuming our army is also just better than theirs. And I'm, I'm assuming we have more aircraft, you know, we have naval power. And of course we have all of our allies as well, you know, Ukraine, Lithuania, Poland, France. The opposition has won the 1950 Brazilian election, so they are now uh, conservative. Now, I don't think that's conservative that's aligned themselves with Berlin, though, unfortunately. As, as nice as that would be, uh, I can't win them all. As much as, I mean, as much as I've tried, I want I want to win them all, but yet they, they, they laugh at me. They call me Wilhelm II Poopy Pants. Yeah, it's very rude. The PSF has won a 1950 election. First regularly scheduled election for the Third Republic since the Villekrieg. The Party Social Francais secured a clear majority under their dynamic leader of Francois de la Roque. De la Roque has been exp uh, exp ever present in the French political scene since the days of Bataan and has been charismatic and enthusiastic leader of the PSF. So they're also conservative. Every everybody's voting conservative these days. I mean, I'm going conservative. France is conservative. Um, Brazil's gone conservative. Let's restore the Constitution. Also, I guess it... I didn't say it, but the um, the Enabling Act has expired. I don't think we got to pop about it. Maybe we will a, uh, another time. You know, once the uh, mods, of course, been updated a little bit more. There's another cipher broken. I guess we'll break Japanese ciphers next. I'm breaking too many ciphers. I don't even know what to do with all of them, to be honest with you. I've I know what everybody is doing at all times. Yes, I know we have the ciphers. Tungsten, let's get that more from... Actually, do I have any of my subjects? I should be getting it from my subjects, not from uh, Bur from the Burmese and from the Socialists. I should be getting it from my own uh, puppet state. So we get 32 from you, and then we'll trade with China, who is our brand new ally. And no, that actually makes way more sense. No template for rocket artillery. And we'll worry about that another time. I'm sure we'll figure out uh, somewhere to put it. And how's our nuclear program going? Because I think we have completed... I was going to say we completed one of our, our uh, reactors. I don't think we actually have. But we have two nuclear bombs. Which, I mean, that sounds good. Two is better than zero. Get some more uh, military police. Is there anything else I want to sell? We have 500 tanks. So, you know, let's sell 125 of those. We have 2,000 anti-tank. Let's send 1,000 of those bad boys. Improved artillery. Let's sell 1,500. Improved anti-air. Let's sell uh, 750. War austerity trains. You know what? We can sell uh, 50 of those bad boys. And you know what? I'll even sell uh, 450 convoys. Put all of those onto the market. King Gustav V has passed away. The King of Sweden is dead. Now, they are... They have economic ties. They're a member of Middle Europa. Unfortunately, they're not actually in the Reichspact, but... That is okay. Uh, let's go for more logistic companies for these guys. We're basically just upgrading all of our support companies. And Brazil has joined the Accord. I knew this would happen, the sons of bitches. Brazilian President Arahana has recently concluded his multiple-week uh, world tour of nations within the Accord. Following days of state dinners and pictures of Accord heads of states, many observers are confident that Brazil is likely to join the Accord in the future, or at least maintain a clear and uh, strong relation with them. The Accord, for their part, welcomed Arahana with open arms, having long been eager to cultivate a strong ally in South America, a choice that will likely pay off. As the orbit of Brazil now affirms uh, uh, Stanley in the Accord, something which the Reich Pact appears to have quick, quietly acknowledged. We have 98 points here. Rocket Revolution crushes with another 15 points. I am so good. The Accord has no idea how to play geopolitics. Can I send any volunteers to any of these guys? No. Planes in reserve. I will just deploy all of them. Why not? And then we'll worry what to do with you uh, another time. Like, what's the size of our Air Force? Actually, wait. I'm stupid. The whole point why I didn't deploy those planes was because that was going to cost us more money. Who should we support in Middle Africa? 
Didn't I already choose a... Didn't I already choose somebody? Yeah, I chose a... Uh... Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. What is your name? Wait a second. Yeah, so it's still Thyssen. I tried to choose... Focus for, for, for crop. So, yeah, so this, this is Ribbentrop. I believe. So we will start uh, rip and drop. I'm it's, again. It's, it's a placeholder. It doesn't actually work properly, and that is fine. I wonder if that actually was supposed to be the um, that was supposed to actually unlock this and like bypass it by uh, automatically. I'm not too sure. Strength and relatory. Okay, so if if Danubia joins Middle Europa, it does give us some new things. So maybe I think we just want to wait to see what Danubia does. I don't know if there's a way for me to tell. If they've accepted it or whether or not they've rejected it. Um, tension within the Federation. Your penis foreign policy. Well, I'm hoping that they would say yes. But again, they're, they're probably voting on it, so. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll wait with that with bated breath. Embrace voting reform. So the Constitution can be done tomorrow and we can restore the French Constitution. Morocco has rejoined Middle Europa. We'd love to see it. Let's take in the Browdoist. Can I aid Morocco? No, they have one factory, negative 8% stability. They are actually kind of like dog shit, but... Hey, I'm not going to say no. If they want to be in my faction, if they want to be in the middle of Europa, I will welcome them with open arms. We're almost at 100%. France has reformed into a presidential republic. Good for them. What were they before? Were they not... I guess they were still the Third Republic. They've kind of gone into the Fourth Republic. I guess that's kind of similar to what... Um, I believe that's kind of similar to the Gaul, right? And they and he did like a, re a Republican reform, something like that. Oh, Middle Africa actually just exploded. <laughs> the end of Middle Africa. After an arduous and painstaking complex process, the tense negotiation between Germany and the All African People's Movement has drawn to a close and has put an end to the decade-long conflict which has bloodied the conflict continent. Though many in the Kaiserreich were bitterly disappointed with the result, Governor Blank hailed the outcome as a victory for Germany, claiming that the treaties agreed would ensure that German interests uh, were properly in uh, interested in the region. Okay. So, I mean, like, not what I want to see, to be completely honest. Um, I'm just do let me just do a quick little save here for the thumbnail. I'm disappointed, to, to say the least. Maybe I chose the wrong option. Uh, I'm not too sure. So this... I guess doesn't do anything because it's been bypassed. We lost 20% stability and 25% war support. Very cool. I mean, you know what? It's probably because I didn't do this fast enough. Yeah, that's almost certainly it because I didn't do this fast enough. Um, I failed. Yeah, that's almost certainly what happened. Okay. So now, Sudwest Africa. Didn't it say like somebody joined... Um, yeah, you have Reichspact economic ties. You have Reichspact uh, political ties. You're not in the Reichspact, unfortunately. We have Kenny over here. Like, they don't even have, like, country leaders, so... Does that count as... A oh, okay, that actually... Plus 50 for... for uh, in support of the Canadians there. Unfortunate for us, but you know what? We were so far ahead that, you know what? It it's fair, it's fair. And I, I wonder, I don't think this is how this works. Um, and I don't think this is how it should work. But I wonder if the influence actually determines events. Like, I wonder if you have, like, 100 influence. Events are just more likely to go in against you just to kind of balance things out. Handover of uh, Northern Borneo leads to unrest. Well, if they want to go to open warfare, and if I can support them in, uh, in some way. Quarterly growth has gone up once again. I mean, we lost Middle Europa, or Middle Africa, but we are currently just getting more and more money. So, you know, I'm happy with that. Also, what are you? Middle Africa lost. I mean, okay, it's embarrassing. But you don't have to be, like, in a permanent, like, negative 30% stability or whatever it was. Or a flat negative 10, and then we lose 20%. Like, it's... It's embarrassing, yes. 
But, I mean, if we can get, like, the French Republic to also collapse, that could maybe play into our hands. New neo-colonialism. By establishing an official partnership with our current former colonies, the German uh, Weltrich can be persuaded from a Cordis intervention. I mean, we do want to do this. If we can try to secure a position in Africa, um, I mean, I know a lot of it's collapsed, but if we can try to sec secure what we can, that would probably be beneficial. So let's do that immediately. The community of Independent Nations. And then we can do Neo-Colonialism, which allows me to exploit them economically uh, and not just militarily. Now, I don't know if these guys can actually do anything with, uh, with Milafrica. Okay, South Africa is uh, shifted towards the Reich's Pact. Good. The Russian Winter Falls. Was the declaration of the secret uh, chief, uh, police chief of the SZRS's, uh, Pavlov Grulov, the evolves of Russia after an explosion uh, was rocked the meeting. Wait, I'm going to read this again. I feel like I've lost my mind. Was the declaration of the secret police chief of the SZRS's Nazgaritia, Pavel Gorogolov, the Vods of Russia, after an explosion rocked the meeting of the government, killing the leader, uh, Troika, as they discussed the affairs of the state. War here, respected Field Marshal Nikolai Ventium has a pledge to bring down the corrupt SZRS Nazgaritia's regime in a rare public communique to international press from serving a Russian military officer. So Russia has now, referendum has been cancelled in Celsius Africa. Disintegration in Middle Africa provoked uh, political havoc and uncertainty in Dutch South South Africa. A colony that has a remarkable high population of German settlers. This situation of political uncertainty is only heightened today when Kaiser Wilhelm IV... What? Kaiser Wilhelm IV? Personally intervened in the Windhoek organized re uh, referendum, which uh, would have put the colony on the road to incorporation into the state of the German Empire. In a short speech, the Kaiser announced that such an annexation would be completely unfeasible, and that the colonial office had uh, Stalthalder Hans Bogles Groth von Sherwitz Lowitz to cancel the referendum. But the Kaiser stressed that he will not abandon the plight of the German settler population in the region. To that end, a, a frantic series of negotiations between the organized uh, between Berlin, the settlers, and even the local Afrikaner community. Well, let's see what we can do. That's why we want to get the communication of independent nations going. And now, we have the Russian state versus the provisional Russian government. The Trans-Caucasian Military uh, uh, District. Can I send volunteers? Is there anything that we can do with Russia? Or are they just in civil war now? 191 to 207, 49 to 101. Well, we'll see who wins. All of our, all of our tungsten, I guess our tungsten imports broke them. Uh, let's trade with... Let's trade the American Union state. 16 with you. 16 with Egypt. I think that seems like a fair trade, all things considered. Did you mean Minister Pre President Renner has died? The giant of the social democratic uh, movement, tireless Carl Renner, has uh, sadly left Anubia on this New Year's Eve. Okay. That is basically fine for us, I would have to uh, say, if the, uh, the Nubian president dies. Now, if they would join Middle Europa, that would be uh, a, a welcome addition to me. And you know what? I'll even give you like a little gift basket if you join. In in for you know solidarity with the with the loss of your president, and also uh, to be friends with uh, to be friends with you. Okay, Dutch want to buy some anti tank weapons. I have so many weapons on the market. I don't know why nobody wants to buy. I find that like a little insulting. Can, like, are, we have no market access to you. Great influence is negative nine. Base reluctance. I mean, Danubia, I, I guess our... Do we just, like, not have a big trade network? No, it's really just with our puppets, huh? Auto accept purchase request. Like, is there really, like, nobody else that we could maybe uh, bring in? Argentina influence negative 55. Trade influence negative 60. Okay, well, you know what? I don't, I don't care about you anyways. I'm selling all this equipment to basically nobody, I guess. Um, because nobody will be willing to be in the market. Which is very rude, I would say. I want—I would sell my guns to anybody, but apparently I just cannot do that. And opening up the market, it just is... Uh, 
You know, I guess we'll just auto accept purchase request. If the only people that can buy our weapons are people that are already in the Reich's Pact, then, like, what, what's the problem there? After days have passed of uh, no sign of new elections, many began to speculate that the Moroccan monarchy was not planned to relinquish their control over the state. The speculation proved accurate. As King Mohammed V announced that, for the security of the nation, the monarchy would retain control of the government for the foreseeable future. It is unclear what responses will trigger throughout the nation, as many are accusing the monarchy of a self-coup. Muhammad V has taken advantage of the emergency to seize power. I mean, that's fine. If you want to seize power, and you want to be aligned with Berlin, I'm happy for you. Uh, but I will say that at least right now, I think it's been a good time for us to end this episode. So if you have enjoyed, remember thumbs up. Now enjoy, click some down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.